Galnet News Digest, 26th of September, 3305. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, Rockforth issues refunds. Crenellations on your castle. Galnet relaunches. Rockforth issues refunds. The Rockforth Corporation has apologised for a mix-up in pricing that may have left some commanders out of pocket and is arranging refunds. The introductory pricing for Rockforth Fertiliser, which is only available at Marshall Dock in Reedquat, meant that some traders lost out unfairly. The Rockforth Corporation says it recognises the distress that this may have caused and will make a full refund to those affected. Of course, some other traders may have made several billion credits in profit inadvertently by accidentally buying and selling huge quantities of the fertilizer while remaining parked at Marshall Dock. It's easy to see that they may not have realized the vast amount of money they were making and that they were just being very, very indecisive about whether or not they wanted a cargo hold full of fertilizer. In order to remain scrupulously fair, the Rockforth Corporation has hired a crack team of hamster wranglers to ensure that any negative losses that these commanders may have made are refunded straight away, by transferring an equal number of anti-credits to these commanders' bank accounts. Should their bank balance not be large enough to hold all these anti-credits, the technicians are authorised to buy the unfortunate commanders anti-modules to ensure a full refund. So if, for example, a commander has made a massive negative loss and has spent those credits on a selection of expensive modules, they may find those modules disappearing in a puff of antimatter and justice. Let's hope they didn't spend too long engineering them. In unrelated news, it's been reported that the Pilots Federation has finally grown a pair. Crenellations on your castle. The Pilots Federation is strenuously failing to confirm or deny rumours that it'll soon be allowing commanders to customise their buildings. The rumour started when the Pilots Federation reported that its new virtual currency ARCs could be used to customise buildings. It later explained that this was just a mistake. It didn't say you couldn't use ARCs to customise buildings, just that it was a mistake that they'd said it. So, would Sir like a David Braben bobblehead on Sir's bungalow? Would Madam like a Predator paint pack on her palace? Would you like a Dunganking nameplate on your space home? A decal on your domicile? Would you like to be greeted by a friendly Kovas as you enter your construction? You can have all these things if you have enough arcs. And a building. Galnet relaunches, and it's bigger and better. Galnet, your galaxy in focus. The Pilots Federation news syndication feed is relaunching. Having been successfully trialled as a free-to-view service, it will now be available as a much better value subscription service at the low, low price of 499 arcs per week. In this week's Super Soraway subscription Galnet, we give you the lowdown on what those leaders are up to. Every bit the federal president... We take a tour of Zachary Hudson's sex dungeon. Think you know everything about ruthless pirate king Archon Delane? In this week's exclusive interview, he shows us his homemade crochet teapot cosies. And how about Ashling Duval? In our exclusive intimate photo shoot, will you cop a look at that pair of prismatics? We ask an astrologist just what Jasmina House's visions about the architects of creation really mean. We have the first interview with missing flight technician Gan Romero, who's been hiding out at Smeaton Orbital, and ask just what he was really chasing after. We go behind the scenes at the Pilots' Federation and ask just what does Zack do nowadays? And why do they have all those animations of commanders running about? The new subscription-only Galnet magazine 
Can you afford to be without it? And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News, we read the news subscription free, so you don't have to.